So here I need more material and I add it. And this is the final shape of the skull uh, before I smooth it completely. Remember the importance of crossing the movement of your hands of the tool when you work on the surface. This helps uh, not to have irregular surface. And you can feel through the tool if the clay is irregular so you can work uh, insists on this particular spot and sometimes you try to see and you can notice with your that with the sight but you can feel with your touch with the fingers or through through the tool so you can adjust the surface and detail it i generally feel it by the movement of the tool so you can add or uh, remove some material and notice the shape of the head with this curve, this particular curve. I want it to be like that. So I don't fill it with material. I just um, make it perfect on the surface. And here I'm checking the volume of the jaw. And I'm adding here a little bit more. And I'm now choosing a smaller tool for that. And this one is leaving a less lined uh, surface. Okay, voy a sacar una... Okay, now I'm trying to do a deep wrinkle here in the middle of the forehead. I don't know if I like it and adjust the test. And if, you, if, you, if not, I will raise it. And I think I like it. I'm doing a very prominent eyebrow bone. So I prefer to remove part of the volume and make it smaller.
entonces queda ok, that's fine so I removed part of the volume here between the brows and I like it more and here I am lifting the, the point of the nose uh, it's just a question of taste, uh, just uh, my, my personal taste about how I want the face to look. You can find your own way to make the, the face, uh, your personal taste about the shape of the nose and so on. I personally prefer this kind of nose, it's, it's very Italian one, like mine. And I want the shape of the nostrils uh, look curved, not like straight like that. And so I'm changing it. So here I'm working the lower, lower part of the nostril. 